Hi, hi, I'm Bernard Turi. I'm the CEO of Eurogoal. Um, we're pushing forward a clean tech transformation of quartz directly to solar grade silicon metal. Uh, typical disclosure. Quickly, what it is, uh, I think this is the point here. Anyway, we have uh, 123 million shares issued and outstanding. We have fully diluted 178. Uh, we, our 52 week range is 2 cents to 23, but our 2 cents was in December and our 23 was two, three weeks ago. But you'll see why. Uh, Management and key investors are big owners. We own about 58% fully diluted to move forward. Our goal is to become the lowest cost supplier of solar grade silicon metal and a leading supplier of ultra high purity quartz sands. We're, we want to become the world leader in clean and green production of solar grade silicon metal for the solar industry. Uh, our plan is to become a vertically integrated and diversified high value specialty material company our gold assets are on a way to be um, spin out to unlock the value. We look for pro unique projects that can generate high yield returns. What is quartz? Basically, uh, quartz is one of the second most ab abundant element in the earth crust. But high purity quartz, which is required to make uh, high uh, silicon metal, is ba basically very rare. Silicon metal is a key strategic minerals with application of silicon, aluminum, solar, and high-tech industry. And silicon metal was just designated a strategic mineral by the European Commission and by the US Department of Justice. Uh, the world market for silicon metal, metallurgic grade silicon metal, is, is about $6 billion a year. Most of the growth comes from the demand for solar grade silicon metal to be used in photovoltaic solar panels. This presentation is available on our website, so that's why I'm sort of skipping quickly through it. When we talk about si uh, silicon metal for solar uh, is really set to explode. In 2014, 10% of the global production was transformed or basically further refined to 6N purity silicon. Um, that's an additional six billion. So combined, the, the solar grade and the, and the metallurgic grades are $12 billion a year business. Uh, according to all the research out there, the demand and growth for solar panels is going to increase between 15 to 23 percent. This represents an additional 10 gigawatts of power per year generated by a solar system. Uh, access to solar grade silicon will be the limiting factors. Uh, balance and supply and demand for solar grade um, is expected by the end of this year as demand for solar panel increases. This is the interesting part is we're now entering into a deficit and because, because solar grade silicon metal was, is basically the, the, the capital structure was designed when the, uh, I can't, can't find it, was really designed when the spot price went crazy. At one point, solar grade silicon metal was selling for $100,000 a ton. So people only took the technology, the only technology they knew about, which was the one used to make electronic silicon and basically scale it up to make more production. So you ended up having an overcapacity built, but the overcapacity basically at a cost structure that's almost very, it's very difficult to make money into it. As you can see, the price always fluctuates between a range between 20, you know, 25,000 to $10,000 a ton. Because as the price goes up, production comes in. As the price goes down, production moves out. So until 2016, um, there was no impetus or no reason for people to build a new plant. In addition to this, if you want to build a new plant, you have to invest about a billion dollars to do that. Now I'm going to, because this is a clean, uh, a clean tech conference, I'm going to talk about uh, silicon, solar grade silicon's dirty little secret. Nobody says, nobody really wants to talk about it, but when you make solar grade, when you make a solar panel, you need five gram of solar grade silicon metal. To produce that five gram of silicon metal, you end up, you end up generating 54 gram of CO2. That doesn't sound like a lot, but if you, if you basically, on every solar panel, you basically generate 70,000 kilogram of CO2. According to the EPA, when you put a solar panel in your house, basically having the one-time equivalent of driving 14.8 passenger car for one year. When you look at the worldwide effect of this, basically, if you add 10, 10 gigawatt per year, 
you're basically adding 2.7 billion ton of CO2 emission one time, all right? Now the solar panel industry will tell you over the lifetime of the solar panel, you'll get a credit for it, but you're still generating 2.7 billion ton. Or as the EPA calculated, it's the, the greenhouse emission from 709 coal fire power plant in one year. This is where we come in. Uh, we, have a, we have a new process that's been developed by pyrogenesis. It's a one-step transformation of quartz to high-purity silicon metal. So basically, we signed a development agreement with pyrogenesis. Pyrogenesis is a public company. It is the leader in the design, development, and fabrication of plasma process. The agreement provides Eurogold with a worldwide exclusivity on the technology to transform quartz to silicon metal. The PureVap is really going to be a disruptive technology because with, with our one-step transformation, we're potentially looking at manufacturing solar grade at a fraction of the cost. So if we're 30% of the cost of our competitors and 1 20th of the capital cost. What we decided to do is instead of building up our own R&D, we decided to outsource our R&D with an industry leader. This, you know, this gives up access to the number one leaders in plasma, as opposed to the number one leader in metallurgy and everything else. They know how to resolve plasma issue. Oops, I think I jumped one, there you go. So, in a nutshell, this is what it is. Um, I keep my phone, there you go. We're gonna, it's, it's, it's quart reduction with carbon using plasma submerged arc. Basically, silicon is gonna be refined at very low operating pressure. This will allow us to get high temperatures and volatilize the impurity. So we're gonna take silicon, carbon, basically it's gonna be graphite, so we're gonna be one of the big users of graphite. We put it in the vacuum, the impurities get out, and we get pure silicon. Uh, what's interesting is that the, the science behind the PureVap is strong. It's known that you can use plasma arc-based process to make uh, uh, metallurgically silicon metal. It's known that you can basically use plasma to purify metallurgically silicon metal. It's also known if you work in a vacuum, you will eliminate the, um, you will have a volatilization happening. What is unique and groundbreaking about the PureVap process is we're combining these three proven processes into one step. So this is a traditional process. You take, uh, I'll just go quickly into it. Key point is, building a new plant here costs about $5,000 to $7,000 a ton, so $300 million, and you get 98.5. I talk about the environmental cost, and it basically, you can see we're also using a lot of chemicals. I'm gonna have to skeet up, skeet up a bit. So our process, basically, we're looking at best in class. We're basically a disruptive technology because uh, it's one-step transformation. We go directly into the, the high-purity material. What does that mean? Oh, there you go. Same chart. This is a 2016 price as we're starting to enter the shortage. This was 2015. You see, nobody was making money. This is the price range that we're looking at into it. And if I'm going to go... But in addition to this, we're a green technology because we're looking at, at reducing by 75% the carbon footprint of making solar panel. Uh, that, so just to give you an idea what it is, you remember what I said about the, uh, the carbon footprint so, uh, here? Using the semen process, you create this. Here we only create this. We will only emit the greenhouse, whoops, I went my back. Greenhouse, anyway. We would cut down by about 524, the number of, the, this is equivalent to eliminating the gas emission from 524 gold fire plant. So what's our plan? We've basically validated that we can make silicon metal into it. Our project is now entering the beneficiation stage. We anticipate within the next month to be able to tell the market that we've been able to make some high purity material. Uh, our project is to scale up to 20,000 ton within five years. Uh, and that's only a market penetration of 5%. Our scale up is gonna be in three phases. One, a 200 ton per year plant. First commercial plant of 2,000, then ten, two plants of 10,000. Uh, preliminary capital costs for it are basically between three to $5 million for 200 ton. Then we're moving down to $15 million for the uh, 2,000 ton. And we're gonna have a capital cost, I keep hitting the wrong button, around 7,500 7, 7, a ton. And once we're gonna be full production, we will have the same capital cost as building a metallurgy grid plant. 
And our green tech nature really opens up to government funding. Naturally, we are a diversified junior exploration company, and all these numbers are nice, but we don't have the 43101 exploration resource to do this. What's really interesting is with our process, we can buy the, the, the quartz in the market to, to make it work, but we will be sourcing out from our own properties and we'll be starting the exploration work this, uh, this summer. And I think I'll skip it there. Any questions? <laughs>